we're not going to start from lesson one. Uh, I personally think an introduction from lesson three will be of greater help for us. It's very beneficial, or it is the best place to start our journey into Quranic Arabic. This is what how I, inshallah, view it. It's, uh, so we're going to cover, not completely, just the introduction of lesson three. We And then we will go back to lesson one and two next week, inshallah ta'ala. And then we're going to come back again to lesson three and complete it and read actually the lesson and all other Quranic examples of this. But uh, for, from lesson three today, we will only do the introduction. Uh, you know, we will, you know, start our journey from here. This is lesson three. And these are the topics of lesson three. And Baytun, two dhammas, baytan, two fathas, baytin. We, we have learned that tanween is two dhammas, two fathas, two kasras. That's what we know. But as a student of Nahu now, this is not quite accurate. This is not quite accurate. Why is it so? Tanween is, as a student of Nahu, we are concerned how words are pronounced, not how words are written. So in reality, this is Baytun. In reality, this is Baytun. Everybody sees that? And over here, it's bay, Baytun. And here, Baytun. Notice this. When we read Baytun, we actually said Baytun with a noon and sukun at the end. When we said Baytun, we actually said Baytun with the noon at the sukun, uh, at the end with the sukun. Baytun, similarly, uh, we have a noon with sukun at the end. This is silent noon, noon and sakina. This noon and sakina in all these examples, three examples, is called tanween. Even though tanween is represented by doubling the sign, like uh, the the haraka, uh, dhamma, extra dhamma, extra fatha, and extra kasra. But in reality, these words have these the, all these words have single dhamma, single fatha, and single kasra. The other dhamma, fatha, and kasra is only representing this noon and sakina. This is what tanween is. This is what tanween is. So, what is tanween? Tanween is a silent noon, the silent noon that we saw, noon and sakina, which is not explicitly written. Do we write? the kitabun that way? No. I just showed you what the actual word is. It is not explicitly written, but it is pronounced. I say kitabun. Baytun. Qalamun. And please note that ism takes pride in having this sign of tanween. Tanween is exclusively the sign of ism. This is an integral sign of ism. Ism has other signs also, but this is one of its main sign or major sign. It, and then asma, asma is the plural of ism, take pride in, in their sign of tanween. 